traditional Hong Kong style barbecue meats have been flying out of this restaurant for over 20 years. Obviously other parts of China do have uh, uh, Peking duck and other styles of duck, but this style in particular is kind of created in Hong Kong. The business started by father Eric Liang, now son Anson has taken over. I grew up with that and, and I think it's very important for us to keep that culture for us. Cuisine is just one part of a culture others from Hong Kong say is very unique. We need to uphold our real identity because we are not the same as Chinese. Henry Lam and his husband are part of a campaign to encourage people to note Hong Kong as their ethnicity on the long-form census. Last time it wasn't an example to choose from and officials say anyone who noted it would have been grouped as Chinese, something that can affect government services for Cantonese-speaking Hong Kongers, he says. When they send out the survey to me, they only give me uh, the simplified Chinese, so aka Mandarin. So this is not our reading language at all. <laughs> and beyond the practical reasons, Chinese actions in Hong Kong have given them another motivation for recognition. And we don't want to be erased. That's what the China government or the PRC is trying to do. Okay, And uh, they want to keep the, the, the city, but, but remove the people. Hong Konger is now an example on this year's long form, and officials believe specific information about them will likely be part of data made public, an important step, according to Lam. We don't want our identity to be fate at our generation because I'm not, I'm not sure about the future of Hong Kong. And his way of showing support for friends protesting back home. Susanna De Silva, CBC News, Vancouver.